How's it going, bros? My name is Firpa. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to part six of Undertale. So a friend of mine helped me replay most of the, the game because I'm too lazy. <laughs> and he loves Undertale. So he was like, yes, let me do it. Um, I'm still kind of like pissed off, even though I didn't have to technically replay most of it myself. Because it's been days and I haven't been able to play Undertale. I really want to get the right ending of this. And I just fucked up the beginning. Uh, we're gonna fight Asgore again. Uh, do you really say Asgore? I'm sure it's like Asgore or something. Or ah, It just doesn't sound right. I'm sorry, Asgore. Okay, so now Flywe won't kill him, right? I swear to God, if Flowey kill Asgore, I will, I will kill Flowey. Okay, we know the dialogue. Okay, blah blah blah. It's emotional, but I've seen it three times. It looks like a broke. Wait, is it fixed again? Please work, please. Human. Oh, it's so sweet this part. Why am I still skipping it? I hate him. Well, let's get this over with. <laughs> what? I still have to fight him? I hate him! <sighs> <sighs> so he remembers. That's so creepy. I hate it. I swear to God, Toby. Alright. I guess it's up to me to get your real happy ending. For starters, you can't do it by yourself. Papyrus, Undyne, Alphys. These guys... Are you friends with all of them yet? Maybe you should go back and hang with them. The power of friendship that always saves the day, right? Why is he telling me this? So, oh my god, are you, f are you kidding me? All right, so, uh, I, I don't know if I talk to, Pepe oh, fuck, all right. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna have to befriend everyone. Power of friendship. I feel like this is a plot twist. He's telling me to do this. So you can kill them as well or some shit. What about Sans? Can I hang with Sans? He seems dope. You know who Sans remind me of? Cry. Yeah, he does a lot. Alright. I know where Undyne lives. Is that how you say Undyne? Und und Undine? Undine, perhaps? All right, I'm here. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Her house looks so mean. Psst. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. What is it, sardines? Oh my, my, oh my low. Hi, parrot. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, huh, I don't think we... Why don't you two come in? Oh boy, this is going great. That sword is huge! Hey, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own. <laughs> On their own. <laughs> uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I spit everywhere. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> what the fuck? Seems legit. <laughs> so why are you here? You rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. Yes. Really? How delightful I accept. Let's all frolic in the field of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you're my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. 
I thought Undan would be friends with you. But I guess it's I overestimated her. She's just not up for the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could be friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. You're not just going to be- We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties! I'll make you like me so much. How do I read? I don't know. You won't be able to think of anyone else. Phew! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why did you have a seat? Oh boy, I am sitting down. Sit down. And progress. <laughs> Thanks for being clear. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink! What is he put a drink on the stove? All set, what would you like? Oh my god. Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest, sit down and enjoy yourself. Sorry. Um, why not you just point out what you want? You can use a spear. I make uh, the stove drink. Soda. Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. That's fine, I, I, I think that soda's gross too. It rusts your teeth, it rusts your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Um... What about hot chocolate? Oh, you want hot chocolate? Wait! I just remember the container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Oscar kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. <laughs> I laughed way too hard at that. Sugar goes in the tea. Alright. Sugar, that's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? No. That's what I thought. Well, I don't know then. What about the tea box? Tea, alright, coming right up. Wish I just picked tea right away, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, nothing. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. A very awkward moment, I would say. <laughs> okay, it's all done. I like how Undyne has sonic boots. I never realized. Gotta go so fast. Maybe they're related. She's blue too. And weird looking. Careful, it's hot. I feel like this friendship is great. It's not that hot, just drink it already. <laughs> you take a sip of the tea. It's burning. <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you choose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. I just realized I have to beat Asgore for the third time. I love this theme. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. Do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So, I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like... Um, Papyrus. He's a dork, all right. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, um, it's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. 
I could never send her into battle. He get ripped in. He get ripped into little smiling shreds. <laughs> That's part of why I started teaching her how to cook. You know. So maybe he can do something else with his life. Well, he makes a mean spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. <laughs> You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Paris, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for- Oh god, I see where this is going. Oh, yeah. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer friends than you can imagine. Foo-hoo! Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Damn, I'm- I am afraid. <laughs> In a weird way. Let's start with the sauce. Jesus Christ. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now! Pound them to dust with your fist! How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? Wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. <laughs> oh my god! Stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done! Nya! Jesus Christ, that leave need a mess on that beautiful wallpaper. Uh... We'll just scrape this into a ball later. But for now! We add the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand. <laughs> They're the cheapest! <laughs> uh, just put them in a pot. Uh, careful. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clank against the empty button. Nice. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it. I am stirring this shit up. Alright. Alright, I'm doing it. Yep, that's pretty hardcore. Uh, l let me do it. Alright, that's- you You broke the pot. <laughs> that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Oh boy, it's... Alright. Alright, that's... I think it's gonna burn pretty... It's it's definitely on... Alright. It... <laughs> Fuck's sake. What happens? Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. You're ch ch So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you with regret. What? I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on. Hit me with all you got. Yeah! Alright, fake attack. You pretend to swing at Dandine with all your might. Oh shit, I hit her? What? That's the best he can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. 
You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want it. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let him go home. Eventually, some human will, mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and uh, if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now <laughs> well, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Probably a good idea. Oh, and it's all oh, the poor house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll, we'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I'll, I'll go and hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, alright? Okay. And if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but can you... Hey, wait, your inventory's full. Oh, well, I'll be at Papyrus. Can see me when you have less stuff. What? What was he supposed to give me? I don't know. I guess we will never know. So, I guess I'm supposed to go to Snowden now. Wait, what? Oh, this is not right. It seems Undyne has something for you. She's the person that's me, not me. Oh, thanks for that tip. All right, so let's... Dimensional box. Let's uh, put away the star fay. All right. Hi, Undyne. Um, so I have a favor to ask to you. Um, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to go over there. So here you go. That makes sense. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Um... Facial reaction, that one. Um, Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asks you, because she, you have no standards. Same reaction again. <laughs> so I assume that I already uh, stayed with Papyrus then, or try to be his. Uh, Boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't I don't want to talk about it. So uh, let's move on to Alfie's and uh, Talk to her. Oh No, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one Um, It's shut kind of strongly isn't it? Wait a second Is that a chainsaw? Oh my god Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god? <laughs> Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, uh, this. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make up to you. So he thinks that we are hitting on her. I mean, uh, uh. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh God, where's this dating start? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, st sorry, still, <laughs> still getting dressed. Oh. Now that, now that is some hot shit. We're uh, we are in hot lands after all. My friend helped me pick out this dress. She got a great sense of. Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Hey, hey, wait! Actually, we we can't start the date yet. 
Um, uh, I, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statit. Wait, are we the fucking AI or whatever? <laughs> I've never been on this end of the dating spectrum, what the fuck? That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gift in anticipation for a day like this. Hey guy, hey guy, you can't be walking around like that. Come here. I love you, but I'm dating people. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Maybe you can't use that, but I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, um... Okay, it's meant for undyne, isn't it? Um, well, how about this magical spare repair kit that I, uh... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the day. Finally. Yeah, let's, uh, date. <laughs> Uh, uh, do you like anime? <laughs> yes, I do. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I got it. Let's go to the garbage dam. Yeah, you got it. Oh boy. Here we are. This is where Undy and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, she is really... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Oh my god. Uh, is this turning into a love drama all of a sudden? Like, what the hell am I doing over here? Hey, there you are. Um, I realize if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh, you don't have it? Uh, have you at least seen her? Uh, no. No? She wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Oh, come on. Why is everyone so condescending to me in this game? Jesus Christ. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. Yeah, it does. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I... I might... I really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't. I'm cool. But Undyne, she's so confident, strong, and funny. And I'm just nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies. She thinks... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Kill her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her the truth, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy. Or truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Oh. Eh. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared that what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How do I practice? Let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. All right. Which, uh, which one of us will be on Dine? Um, I'll be on Dine, obviously. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> um, hi, on Dine. Uh, how are you today? I'm fine. Ha <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I like to, uh, talk about something. Uh, then she kisses you. What is it, Alphys? 
Uh, you see, I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I, um... I oh, forget it. Undyne, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. Y you always do what make me f feel special. Like telling me how you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. What did you just say? And I, I, I was just... Hey, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? She actually thinks it's cute? Okay. Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes! I mean, uh, no! I mean, I mean, actually, we were only r romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... <laughs> I mean... And I, and I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was... I really just used it on ice cream. And those few minutes are... Uh, uh, and... and uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alphys, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I really think you're neat, alright? Alphys. Shh. Shh. Oh, shit. Alfie! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize. Most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is nerdy crap! <laughs> what I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% and maximum power! So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to lie to, lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Oh my god. Nah, I'm gonna get prepared to do it. Get those bones shaking. It's time to do 100 laps hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne. I'll do my best. And then, San. <laughs> oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Anime is not real. No, anime is real. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic sword, magical princess, here I come! Um, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... She seems like... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta catch up with him. Later. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> All right. Uh, what is it? Oh, we're in the junkyard. So. So. Save. That didn't work out. Um, if we've uh, dated Papyrus, which I think we have. Mm. And we've uh, dated Alfie's uh, technically, and oh, howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, also your mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished our training early, very early. Should I send her home? Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no apparent really reason, you should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. All right, well, um, the game clearly tells us what to do next, so I suppose we shall do that. Let's take the tra -la man to the tra -la, la land. tra -la, la careful ride, yes. To Hotland, please. Now we're off. Can we please get a pun on the way? God, I record these at like 
six because I record other videos during the day and goddamn I get hungry. The waters are wild today. That's good luck. I am starving. So if I don't seem very energetic, it's because I need a Snickers. All right? I had a Nature Valley Crunch sponsor. Not really. Are they bad for you? I feel like they're so sweet. Like they have to be bad and they're they're just kind of marketed to be like good for you because it's like nature crunch. But there's no way. More like no nature crunch. Alright, we're in the lab. Um What happened here? That was there before. That's a little creepy. Oh. She must be what? Did we take this route before? What is this? No, we must have taken this route before. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. Okay. My bad. My bad. Um, up the thing? Yes. Oh, she's working on Metaton. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She made Metaton. I love Metaton. Let's talk to Metaton. 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 Metatom, 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 metatom. So kawaii. Looks like metatom is undergoing repairs. I love metatom. I want to be metatom. Sugoi metatom chan. Um. Dog food. Alright, surely it's in. No. What about the note? It's a note. Okay, read it. It's hard to read because of handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys' sh support really means a lot to me, but you guys alone can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person, and I want not be afraid anymore, and for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I might go on to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. To the north. How does she know what we know the north is? She should have said up. Alright. That would have made a lot more sense. Oh my god. Oh, great. Oh, I'm sure that's great. No, that's, that's what an elevator is for, right? That sounded like a drop, dubstep beat drop than an elevator drop, drop. so I don't... Here we go. All right, let's go. Hello? Oh, God, this is creepy. Alphys, what did you do? This is it. Time to do what the king had asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be art recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh god, Alphys. Entry number three. The extracting... But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of the most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Alphys. Number five, I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. You will... The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Ooh. Oh boy, am I filled with determination. And empty with hunger. Power room. This is really keeping going. Hey guy, what do you want? Just get comfortable and get funky with it. Come on, sit down, buddy. Come on. We're gonna go, you're gonna get food too. I'm hungry too, all right? There you go. So cute. Um, entry number six. Ask or ask everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. And soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if you inject determination into them? 
freedom might be closer than we all thought. Oh, Alphys, you're so naive. Enter number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get souls. I told their families that I would give them the dust back to the funerals. For the funerals, people are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? How much time passed? Why don't I hit the switch? Why am I doing this? Oh. Why, uh, is it Namsta Luke? That's creepy. Oh god, it's like that Pokemon with no name. You know when you glitched it out, the Pokemon cheat? The unnamed one? Oh god, please don't. Oh, it's definitely inspired by that. I feel like this game is like a mix of like Homestuck, Pokemon, and Yumaniki. Mika Yumi, yeah, or whatever. It smells like batteries. I think it's really cool because this game kind of like. I feel like, uh. Oh, God, that's creepy. Come join the fun. Uh. Oh, God, I, I could die here if I fuck up. Um, this game really bridged the gap with the R J the the JRPGs like Ib and like the Witch House because those are like amazing story based games in the kind of same format. Uh, but I mean they're not on Steam or anything, whatever that means. I think I should refuse. Uh, but this game really did it. Hit the hit that mainstream, y'all. Um, seems like it doesn't care anymore, all right? Did it. And that's the red switch, cool. Um, it's impressive what they did with the game. Okay, wait, did we press the switch? Okay, it has, all right, the door should be open now. Uh, PJ, kick the PJ, he played the game recently as well and he, he's obsessed with it and he says like, they're, the ending, you have to play it. The real ending, the pacifist ending. I told the families that I would give them. Oh yeah, we read this. I don't know why it lit up again. I guess it just lit up if you walk by them. Oh God, there's a lot of switches. Okay, that's fine. I enjoy puzzles. Um, God, I'm so hungry though. Enter number 12, nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Yeah, well, all right. Entry number 13, one of the bodies opened his eyes. Ugh, creepy. It's an empty dog food bowl. Ah, uh, no, Alfie's. Engine number 15, seems like the Risha's was dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. It's, I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessels to its garden. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. And I'll send everyone back tomorrow, smiley face. Creepy. Engine number 16, no, no, no. Oh God. So I, gl oh God. God damn, that's creepy. Oh God. No. Well, maybe it's just a nipple. Ah. Well, that was anticlimactic. Uh, I'm glue. I glued like all these things on the wall with it. Oh God, is that an actual monster? Oh, it is. Oh. I guess I'll cry. Oh no. Oh boy. I'll uh, unhug that thing. Um, well, anyway, I gl you glue them with a spray, and the spray, it's starting to come, it's left in the room, and it, it's making my nostrils, like, a little stuck together. I don't think it's healthy for me to be in here right now. I hope I don't pass out. 
<laughs> oh god, I hope I don't die more than that, actually. Oh boy, do I suck. Let's eat some more Sarfei. Ah, oh, come on. I guess I'll scream. Come on. I don't want to die. Boom. Yeah, this is going great. What a call. Oh my god. I keep making the same mistakes. I'm gonna run out of Starfei. Come on. Flex. Is this a boss battle? I hope so. Uh, thank God. That was just awkward. Okay. Well, we need... Oh, God. It's dark, isn't it? So if you Google uh, Yumaniki, the main character looks almost identical. Uh, did, I, did I say that? Yeah, I think I said it. See, the glow is messing up with my brain. Um, it's cool to see the inspiration. I think. What am I doing in here? I'm holding up at the same time, hoping I will go into something. Do I need an item to be here, maybe? Oh! Oh, we did it somehow. Sorry, I forgot to read the note. Okay, I guess we go back now. Uh, now we can go down here? And another button. Oh, we don't have the yellow button yet. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What is this? Psh, Gory, wake up. Hmm, what is it, day? Um, why do you have that video camera? Shh, I don't want, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dears, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. I love edamame. Get it, oh. Got it, got it. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now. If I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Momeranium. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this chat. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Momeranium. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know. I was just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, I per perhaps it is too dark in here for the video camera to come out. Yeah, we didn't see it, so. Can we see something now? Howdy, Pierce. Spy out by the camera. Ha, <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on. On purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we try to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asks for butter. But we accidentally put butter cups instead. Yeah. <laughs> Those flowers got it really... Th got them real sick. I felt bad so... Felt so bad we made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. 
Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Um, turn up the camera? Okay. We got five and four left. Why do I click five before four? Pierce, can you hear me? I want you to wake up. Pierce, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. There are f the f you are the future of humans and monsters. Psst. Pierce, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... No. I said I... S I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get the six. And we'll do it together, right? Well, there's no six, so we... I don't like this idea, Pierce. No, I... I not... Big kids don't cry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we saw this one. Oh, so they were researching humans. Oh shit, I got a call. It says under the sheets. Maybe I should look under the sheets. Under the sheets. Under the sheets. Ba ba da ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba. Under the sheets. Under the sheets. The sheets. The sheets. Let's do the one that seems like different. That's creepy. What the fuck? Yes. There it is. Boom bada bing bada boom bada bam bada boop. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Progress. Might say call me. We're doing takeaway tonight. So, I am very excited. Because I'm very hungry. But I'm also loving playing this game. Um, and I hope I can end this episode on like a decent part at least. Not that it matters to you because you, you can just click next part. Anyway. I think we got all the switches. And all the bitches. Let's go here anyway. Just check out. Here's the flowers. What's with the flowers? Enter number seven. We'll need a vessel. After all, you can have more monsters. Okay, I don't really care. I'm sorry. It's getting too much reading for me. Cliché. This feels a little cliché. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Oh god, that's creepy. Oh god. What is this, like, rare Pokemons? I guess I'll clean it. <laughs> you wash your hands. Oh god, that is terrifying. Uh, what's gonna happen? It's gonna shoot it at me, isn't it? Oh my god. What just happened? You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Oh, okay, here it comes. Damn it. Let's uh, pick on. It seems effective. Yeah, no, I, I know all about that attack. I do that all the time. Mystify? You did something mysterious. Recognize it has more to learn from this one. Or is this like a mix of all the... That was like Froggit, right? Uh, how about we pray? You kneel and pray. Reaper Warrior seems to remember something. Something finally gets it. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's getting difficult. Seems to plat plat whatever that. Oh. You won. All right. Oh, we don't have the blue switch. All right. Cold. So maybe in a fridge or something. Let's see if we can find it. I'm sure we can. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Did we see a fridge somewhere? I don't think we walked this way. Yeah, this is definitely cold. This is very creepy. What happens if we hit it? Shh, blows away the steam. 
And it creates another enemy. Oh, that's not good. I didn't heal. Well, I guess we have no choice. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. Uh, let's play with it. It reminds me of, you know, that, uh, that game that I played a long time ago with, like, alpacas. Aww. That's so cute. We won. Okay, we got all the switches now. Correct? Yes. I think? Where was the blue switch again? Was it down here? I don't remember. My memory is impeccable. I got- I must say. My butt is also asleep. I am complaining a lot. Welcome to me when I'm hungry, alright? I'm not the most fun to be around. What? Motherfucker, did I not get the fucking switch? Jesus fucking Christ, what do you want from me? Fucking hell. Oh, I gotta have a uh, mm, uh, noodle with pork broth. Mm. Oh, it's waiting for me at home. It's gonna be so good. I'm sorry, is that inappropriate? No? Alright. I'm just gonna check all these fucking fans. Maybe I needed to put the fan on to get rid of the smoke in the other room, but maybe I just did it anyway? I am well confused. What is that? Is that like a mask or... Oh, here's a fridge. Well then, could have saved a lot of time and effort. This one seems to be moving. Never mind, this one. This one. Why are they all empty? Shut up, I know you're not empty. Oh god, a refrigerator monster? Or what, what is this, prop hunt? Oh, that looks pretty trippy. Let's make a joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. It's too cold. Let's laugh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? Why did you do that? Snowy. Well, that's awkward. Uh, heckle. You said something like, you look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that. What am I supposed to do here? And I won. Okay. I have no more questions. Wait, did I already... Oh, curtain? I am so confused. I'm sure I'm I'm tired, guys. All right, I'm 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 a man who likes to eat food three times a day. All right, that's I don't. All right, I'm gonna put the last switch. Then we're gonna end the episode. And it hot, make it hot, and it make our dream come true. We all in this for me and you. I think I just did something awful. Yes, I did. Thank you very, very much. Those look cute. I hope they are friends. I love friends. Oh, my dad is calling me. Why am I so popular? Hey, stop. I get it. Hey, papa. Uh, can I ring you um, to five minutes there? Okej, okay, men jag, 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 är, jag är upptagen, men jag ringer om fem minuter där. Okej. Okay. Bra, hej. Okej. Okay. Sorry about that. They kind of get... They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Oh my god, it's like me! Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to put it back on, but it seems like you were on step ahead of me. But this probably is just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up as I said I was afraid I might not come back. But there's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. I might run away or do something cowardly. I uh, suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During the research, I isolated a power I called their termination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would 
last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take the concentrations of determination. Their bodies start to melt, and I lost what physically physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects have melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing if everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself, I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. That is adorable. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. So I just go back home. Oh God. Oh no. Alfie, what did you do? Ring. It's a voice you've never heard before. Pudes, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything's falling into place. Pudes, see you soon. Uh oh. And now we face a final challenge. Wait, I don't have to walk this way, do I? I can just take the elevator. Yeah, I don't know how many times I walked in circles here. Yep, I just walked down here. See if you get lot. There's no save there. Okay, that's not good. Um, I hope we don't have to fight Isgore again because I don't want to kill him. It's so sad every time. I am very much hoping for a save file right now. I'm not gonna lie. I I will cry tears of joy. Still, I don't see a fucking save file. I sh there should be one here. There is not. It is not. There should be one here. Thank you, Bruce. You have you are beautiful. I will see you in the next one, Profess.